Hello everyone. Thank you, Alex, for the good presentation. Um, my name is Miko and I am from Infogram. And I intend to give you a brief overview of our product, our company, and then dive into a couple of live data visualizations um, given the, uh, as the internet allows, let's put it that way. So Infogram is a data visualization and interactive infographics creation tool on the web. It was born in the newsroom. Um, the two founders were in the receiving end of requests for data visualizations from reporters, um, and they wanted to create a product that was easy enough for even journalists to use to create visualizations. And that's what they set out to do about three years ago. And uh, if we look at it quickly, um, you'll be able to register and log in on the homepage for the free product. The free product contains approximately 90% of the features um, you will get to your library, if you're like me, and have lots of infographics created which you can edit uh, or see live and share on. Um, it's made, we've made it as easy for you as possible to get started with beautiful data visualizations by having these pre-created templates that you can grab. Um, there's actually two modes that you can start from. You can either take one of these kind of tower-shaped traditional infographics or you can just pick a single chart and just create a single data visualization. Both are popular with our users. Behind the interface uh, is a what you see is what you get editor, which has a familiar spreadsheet interface behind the uh, data visualization, uh, but it also has the ability to load your own data set, which can be a static CSV, but it can also be a live updating JSON feed or a published Google spreadsheet, which I hope to show you in a second. Uh, we've got approximately 30 different chart types in the product, um, and once you're done, we give you very much like Silk the options to publish publicly, share privately in a pro version, and, and share socially, and of course, embed anywhere you want. So, like I said, Infogram was born in the newsroom, and if you, Think of the news industry, the publishing industry, it has been you know, in, in dire straits for a long time. Whether you look at the um, print ad revenues or the industry employment per, for the last, last few decades, there's this steady trend downwards. But us working in this industry of, of creating engaging visual content, know that there is a content type out there that is really working and that's getting people excited. And in the case of internet, that is of course funny cats. There is absolutely no denying the staying power of funny cats. In fact, if we look at the Google search demand for funny cats over here in the red line, you see that it's stayed pretty strong for the last couple of years. But ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, we have a contender. That shows you the search demand for infographics. So this is our way of saying that there is an actual real demand for meaningful, professionally created content that tells a message then that's even beating uh, funny cats. So a little bit about Infogram. The company has been in existence for three years, during which time uh, about a million and a half people have registered for an account and created about, it's close to three million infographics now. And so if you assume four minutes on average are spent with the product, that gives you quite a lot of humanities time already spent on the product just creating infographics. And that's just the short end of the lever. Um, the consumption end of those is, of course, much bigger because they're seen by tens of millions of people per uh, month. We've got uh, 40 people. We're based in Riga, Latvia, and have an office over here in San Francisco where we're hiring more people, definitely, hence the white name tag. You talk to me after this. Um, our key market segments are media and publishing and content marketing, but education is, is also strong. Um, that slide shows you a couple of the logos that we've signed up recently. And now I'm going to take this over to a demo. Um, let's see how this, how this works for us. So, okay, cool. So, um, we're back. You are seeing my uh, demo account. Um, I've got 87 infographics created over here. And what I want to do is I want to show you a quick example of, um, of a live data integration. Actually, we can, look at, we can look at an existing example first. I'll just take the risk, and, and I don't think I have loaded any of these um, 
preloaded any of these. But this is an example we made last week at the Berkeley uh, Graduate School of Journalism to illustrate the, um, the not strikes, but rather um, work slowdown at the, uh, at the West Coast uh, seaports um, related to, to labor discussions. And some of the things we wanted to illustrate were the, um, how this has affected the number of uh, ships waiting to dock um, at the bay. And also talk a little bit about the, about the union membership. So there's actually live data behind this. So uh, in the case of this chart, actually I'm going to show you, first I'm going to show you a chart that doesn't have live data. Uh, so if we head to this one, I double click that, it's going to open the spreadsheet that, it, that I just showed you. Uh, here you'd be easily able to manually edit any of the data. So if, you, if we find a mistake here, for instance, we want to say that that is, that's 42. Uh, instead of 41, we'll just update that and it gets updated live. Now if that infographic is embedded somewhere, that of course gets updated live as well. So one of the paradigms of, of infographics and data visualization we want to break is, is to move away from that static image that's embedded somewhere and that never gets updated when the, when the data updates. Um, but there's also a live version and this, is, uh, this pulls data from a Google spreadsheet. It's connected to a live data source, so I'm not going to be able to, able to edit that. Um, it, it, it's updating, I set it to auto update never, um, but I can set it to, set it to 30 seconds now. Um, in the case of spreadsheets, we only pull every 30 seconds because we don't want to hit any rate limits. In the case of a JSON feed, we can, we can pull every second or so. Um, this is actually coming from, I'm not able to switch between application, so I'll just show you it's coming from a Google spreadsheet over here. So if I were to add, uh, no, this is actually the tonnage. There's another sheet that's very similar that's published and that has the number of ships waiting to, waiting to um, dock at the, at the port. Um, so I'm going to go back and start creating a new one. I will go to my create view, which gives me the templates that I have available to me. There's two custom design ones. We have a custom package for uh, larger brands and publishers where our designers create a template for them. And that's unlike traditional infographic creation where you, know, you, you order just a single one-shot infographic. Here we make you a template that you can then use for unlimited content. I'm gonna grab this one. I think that was the same one. I think that was the same one we just saw. Um, I'll edit some of this content. So let's call this the fickle nature of happiness. Um, I have these uh, charts ready here. Uh, in this case, a line graph. And when I double click that, I'll be able to see the dummy data behind that. We pre-populate the charts to give you an example of what the data um, what the structure of the data is behind that. So you'll be able to change that easily yourself. If you don't like that, you can get uh, rid, of the, uh, rid of the data very easily, or you can just get rid of the entire infographic. So in this case, uh, I accidentally moved the quote. No, I didn't, I just let go of that. I'm gonna get rid of these elements over here. Hmm. Maybe that's the internet thing. I'm just gonna add a new element here. Uh, let's add a column chart. I'm going to insert that. It will react soon. Again, that has been pre-populated with, uh, with some dummy data for us. If I wanted to modify the subtype, in this case, I could go to settings and say that I'd rather see this as a stacked uh, graph, for instance. But I'm going to go back here. Um, I'm actually tethered through a phone, so we may run into a couple of errors. And I will connect a uh, live JSON data feed here, which I hopefully have on my uh, clipboard, ready to go. There we go, yeah. And in the case of the JSON data feed, I'm gonna set it to, again, to 30 seconds. Um, so, if we, if I'm happy with this, um, maybe I'm gonna edit that.
I'm going to post a link to this to the, uh, to the meetup meet page. Um, and of course, if I don't like some of these things, I can always go back and delete them. Um, the editor gives you pretty much what you get in the end, but you can also take a look at the preview, which in this case gives you com something completely different from what it actually looks like. No, this is right. Um, you'll be able to see the animations between your data sets. In this case, we have um, hours of the day um, against which are plotted the happiness indexes of places like Eden and Avalon. Um, when I'm happy with this, I can just either, if I'm a pro user, I can download that in uh, different flavors of, uh, of static files, or I can choose to publish, which we'll do now. So I'll be able to, able to share this. Uh, data in motion, publish for everyone. Take a deep breath, and there we go, good. Okie dokie, and now I've got that link, and like I promised, I'm gonna share this on the meetup page. There we go. That's me. It's got more hair, but it's still me. Okay, I think I've gone through the main points, at least what is to what pertains to the live data bit of, um, of Instagram. Um, there's a whole lot more in the 30 different uh, chart types and, uh, and, and different other kind of visualization flavors uh, in, the, in the product that you can poke around with and uh, definitely feel free to ask any questions now or Q&A later. Yeah, um, there's, um, there's a couple of interesting use cases. Um, first that comes to mind is sports. Um, so live updating sports scores. Um, one of our bigger customers is in weather. Um, weather data is constantly changing as well. That is, that's a nice use case. Um, and for, um, for a more like internal use case, if you, um, this is, if you, you, can, you can take single charts and use those as, you know, instead of your slides from your, from your favorite, favorite slide presentation, for example. Um, so if you had a sales presentation, you could rely on those numbers being fresh when you go to meet the client. It's gonna have that day's numbers without you having to, having to download anything new. So those kinds of three use cases we've seen. Okay, cool. Thanks so much, we can talk later. Bye.